What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video I have some great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on the A12, A13, A14 devices and so on on iOS 14. One important component has been updated and seems to be working for iOS 14 even on the iPhone 12 Pro. So this is actually pretty good news. Coolstar has posted a couple of days ago, quote, iOS 14 on iPhone 12 Pro. So what they do have here is a photo of LibHooker working on iOS 14 iPhone 12 Pro. So what exactly is LibHooker? Well, it's basically like the substitute or substrate on Cydia and on the Uncover. It's basically what powers the Odyssey jailbreak and what allows the Odyssey jailbreak to work and to, you know, run tweaks and themes and basically everything jailbreak related. Without the LibHooker, the jailbreak itself would not be able to work. It wouldn't be able to load any tweak. It wouldn't be able to load any theme and so on. So it's a crucial part of the Odyssey jailbreak and it's a crucial part of the Cilio because nothing you install from Cilio would work without LibHooker. So if you're an Odyssey user you probably know it by now. It's a very important component and the fact that it has been confirmed working finally on iOS 14 is very very good news because at the smallest kernel exploit that allows us to do arbitrary read and write we would be able to jailbreak iOS 14 even on the A14 device devices since the libhooker seems to be working fine. Now it may need more adjustments in order to make tweaks to work properly on the A12, A13 and A14 but the fact that they did got something working is pretty cool. They also posted this quote only works on iOS 14.0 up to 14.2 for your information for the A12 plus. 14.3 plus is no go right now. Don't update past 14.2. A very important detail in here because if you check it out iOS 14.4 is currently the latest version, 14.3 was signed but it's no longer, and 14.2 is long unsigned. So if you want to jailbreak your A12 or A13 device in the near future, definitely stay below 14.3. So 14.2, 14.1, 14.0.1 and even 14.0 are good versions. 14.3 and 14.4, as Coolstart says, are no go for the moment. They may be good in the future, but we don't know. Now I'm not exactly sure how they managed to actually test LibHooker on iOS 14 and iPhone 12. But I don't know if they have any exploit, private or not, or if they used Corellium or anything but they did confirm it works so they also posted this quote and yes libhooker unit tests pass on arm 64e ios 14 so arm 64e is basically the a12 a13 a14 so this is the cpu architecture using the iphone 12 iphone 11 iphone 11 pro the iphone 10s 10s max 10r and so on so that's actually pretty good news we might be able to update odyssey in the near future once an exploit gets released and ios 14.4 patches a ton of vulnerabilities. In fact, many of them are kernel vulnerabilities that could probably be used for Odyssey in order to get it updated. Now, there is no word for the moment on any release, but EMB released yesterday a vulnerability which they found, and this one, although it doesn't work for the A12, A13 and A14 devices, it's still an iOS 14.1, 14.0.1 and 14.0 vulnerability. So it's an iOS 14 kernel vulnerability with privilege escalation, which is actually quite good because it means that we're finally starting to reach the deadlines for these vulnerabilities. So this means that we're going to get more vulnerabilities like this in the future and possibly more that work with A12 and A13. So that's actually quite good. But it seems that Coolstar is doing their work in the background, updating LibHooker and working on it. And as I said, without LibHooker, nothing would work. The entire jailbreak would basically crumble because there would be nothing to hold the tweaks and to make the tweaks work or the themes. So the fact that such an important component is being developed for iOS 14, even on the A12, A13 and A14 is actually pretty great. So yeah, although what EMB released is not exactly very good for A12 and A13 right now, what Coolstar announced is definitely pretty good news for us, but definitely stay beyond iOS 14.3. So iOS 14.2 and lower should definitely be good for now. So yeah, that's basically it. Quick announcements. Thank you for watching. I'm GS Now. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated. We'll keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community. And till the next time, peace out.